my name is Richard Koyama. Uh, I'm from Portland, Oregon, but uh, uh, my parents uh, used to live in Seattle here. We still have a family house here in Seattle. My father made the uh, dresser drawer, this uh, six drawer dresser, and the back of the the back panel of the drawer has uh, the address uh, of their location in, in Minidoka, I believe. That could have been made. I think it was probably made in Minidoka, but it, it could have been made from the crate that housed their possessions in shipment from Tule Lake to Minidoka. That's why it's got that address on there. Well, mostly I, I think uh, the, the dresser drawers obviously are just strictly utilitarian. They, I'm sure that everybody gave them a place to store the things in, in a camp barracks. My grandfather, on the other hand, probably was uh, an artist at heart. And so he liked doing things with his hands, and uh, that's, that's what those represent, because we have a number of those trays. There are probably at least uh, half a dozen of those trays that, that exist. There's only one table that we don't know, but there are a number of trays which are scattered about. And, you know, it makes me wonder where he got the materials, because uh, they're all appropriate for what he was doing. So. Yeah, the, uh, there's a card table, a uh, three-by-three three card table, and a smaller tray, which were made by my grandfather, my grandfather made those definitely in uh, Tule Lake because he never moved from Tule Lake. But uh, obviously uh, he was interested in woodwork, although like I say, he was a farmer. But uh, he, he liked to do woodwork and uh, I liked to do woodwork. Perhaps I inherited some of his uh, genes from that perspective. Um, but uh, I, I don't know the, uh, the, the story is about where and how he got these materials because obviously materials like that would be hard to come by in, in a place like Tule Lake. I've always known uh, what their origins were. And, uh, uh, you know, a camp for us was, um, I was uh, probably three or four years old when I first went to camp. And uh, uh, I knew about these things as originating in camp, but, you know, my parents really never talked about camp uh, as, uh, as a piece of experience in their lives. It, it obviously was a uh, piece of experience in their lives, but not something that they talked about. But it, it's interesting to uh, note that there were a lot of craftsmen in, in these camps. Um, <clears throat> many not probably professional artists, I think, just people who like to do things with their hands. And that's how they spent a lot of their time, I imagine. 